We welcome you back to our on the clock draft special here. Mike Limami alongside Chaz Wright. And Chaz, I'll tell you something. It's our favorite part of the day. It's mock draft time. We got to love the mock draft. You know, we're going to take a turn. You're going to pick. I'm going to pick. So let's just get right into it. Pick number one. I'm going to go Caleb Williams, a no brainer quarterback from USC. Bears traded away Justin Fields, so this is kind of a given as they take him. You know, 120 touchdowns in the last three years. Supporting cast, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Cole Komet. He's your franchise quarterback. I cannot agree more. I'm going to do the evens here. Pick two. I'm going with Jaden Daniels of LSU. He's going to Washington. 50 touchdowns, over 1,100 rushing yards. And you can't forget, of course, folks, uh, the Heisman winner. Solid arm, great speed. Can work out of an air raid style of offense, plus plenty of weapons with him around him, too. And Cliff Kingsbury being a, a big part of that Washington offense now. Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson, I'm excited. Now let's go to pick number three. Let's go another quarterback. New England Patriots taking Drake May, North Carolina quarterback. Patriots could receive some offers here from a few teams like the Vikings or maybe the Broncos or even the Giants. But the Patriots, I think they get their man for the future. Obviously, Mac Jones didn't work out. They get that with Drake May. For four, I'm going uh, J.J. McCarthy here to the Giants. It's going to be a trade. Working the trade in there with Arizona. Playmaker with his legs. Discussed uh, with Miller his great pro day. A lot of different opinions surrounding the QB. We know that he was a winner at Michigan, but I think the Giants will like his size and athleticism. Run heavy offense there. It'll take some time for him to really flourish in the NFL. Now going to pick number five, I think we're going to go different court. We're going to go different opposite of a quarterback. How about a wide receiver? Los Angeles Chargers taking Ohio State wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. 155 catches. 31 touchdowns in three years at Ohio State. They have no Keenan Allen. They have no Mike Williams. With Justin Herbert, this kid could have a chance to be an all-pro. He's going to be their number one guy. Can't sure. disagree with uh, Maserati Marv, as uh, Gus Johnson says. Pick six, I'm going to go with uh, Roma Dunze, the star wide receiver out of Washington. Assuming uh, Marvin Harrison has flown off the board, uh, I think by this point, Arizona is going to take a chance on the kid that had 1,600 receiving yards last season. 4 4 5 40, and he's got the height. Could be a real solid physical 1,000 yard guy the Cardinals are looking for. Now, for Tennessee Titans, I think they're going to take the first O lineman off the board. I think he's probably the best O lineman, and that's Notre Dame offensive tackle Joe Alt. The Titans' offensive line allowed 64 sacks last season. Alt started 33 games and only allowed two sacks in the last two years. He can step in and be that day one starter that the Titans desperately need. At eight, I'm taking my first defensive guy off the board here, Quinion Mitchell, corner out of Toledo. Many have said he's a top corner in this draft. He's got the numbers to prove it as well. No FBS corner. I didn't even realize this force more incompletions than him. I think the Bears at number nine pick Rome Odunze. Washington wide receiver had 92 catches, 1,500 receiving yards, 13 touchdowns last season. He's going to be the new best friend for Caleb Williams, and that is setting up Caleb Williams for success. That's a packed house. Talk about it. Number 10, I'm going with the bulldozer, J.C. Latham out of Alabama. Great lineman on both sides of the ball Alabama's produced, but there's no question this kid is special. I think they're looking to get even more protection for Aaron Rodgers. Now, Minnesota, I think they're also going to take a quarterback. Bo Nix out of Oregon. Nix has the mobility, and he's able to find targets downfield. He can come in and compete with Sam Darnold for that starting quarterback spot. He'll have Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison to work with. So I think it's a premier destination for Nix. I'm at number 12. I'm going the natty runner-up, Michael Penix. Almost a 5,000-yard season, not to mention uh, his durability. Comeback player of the year. I like him a lot. At number 13, I think Michael Penix goes to the Raiders. Washington quarterback, he has a unique skill set. And I think he can compete with Gardner Mishu and Andy O'Connell for that starting job. Like you just mentioned, over 4,900 passing yards, 39 touchdowns last season. Another tackle off the board. I'm going Fuwaga out of Oregon State. He's headed to New Orleans. Great pick there, bolstering that offensive line. Now the first corner going off the board for me, it's coming in at pick number 15. Quinion Mitchell out of Toledo ran a 4-3 40-yard dash. Speed, awareness, ball skills. They need a fast corner to keep up with those Texans wide receivers like Tank Dell. I agree with that. Pick 16. Seattle doesn't necessarily need an edge rusher, but I think they'll make a move and be content with the best guy left on the board. I like Jared Verse right here to Seahawks. 
Now going to pick number 17, I think Terion Arnold is the next cornerback off the board going to Jacksonville. He can play inside, he can play outside. He has six interceptions and 21 pass breakups with Alabama. A pick for the Jaguars to once again keep up with that Texans receiving core. 18, Cincinnati is going receiver Brian Thomas Jr. They've already placed the franchise tag on T. Higgins. I'm thinking they'll try and snag the 6-2 receiver again out of LSU. 4-3-3-40 there, 38-5 vertical jump. Young man has tremendous athleticism and speed. Los Angeles Rams, I think at number pick 19, they pick Liati Latu, the UCLA edge defensive end guy. Now, he's a natural pass rusher, which is what the Rams need, given that they lost Aaron Donald to retirement. I think he feels kind of a void left by Donald. Pick 20, Pittsburgh's going to try and get something Chicago struggled with for Justin Fields. They're looking to the line, Troy Fatanu out of Washington. They'd get a lot of value at the tackle position, especially with trying to take advantage of that speed and skill set that he has. I think Miami also gets an offensive lineman at pick number 21, Graham Barton out of Duke. Interior offensive lineman, a five position flexibility type of guy. Dolphins lost guys in the free agency. They need someone to plug into that offensive line to protect Tua. Pick 22, taking a little bit of a risk with this pick. Cooper DeGene out of Iowa. I like him in Philly. Can see him more of as a safety with the Eagles kind of playing around with that backfield. May opt to move him around, as I said, but a new D.C., new group trying to regroup after last season where defense was a major struggle. I'm going to go Cooper DeJean, but New England trading back into the first round yeah. to pick him. You know, Iowa cornerback, seven interceptions the last two seasons. He's versatile. You pair him with Christian Gonzalez, very quick, very athletic cornerbacks to boost that Gerard Mayo squad that has taken over for the Patriots this season. Pick 24 on a team that was once, and I think still is, known as linebacker paradise. Chaz, don't kill me for this. Jerry Jones, I don't think, is going to mess around here. Defensive mindset in this draft, especially with how things went in the playoff game. Junior Colson, aggressive, gritty, tough. He's going to have a star on his helmet by the end of the first round. At pick number 25, Tyler Guyton, Oklahoma offensive tackle. He's going to go to Green Bay. He started at left tackle and right guard for the Sooners. Guyton started 14 games in college, and he is a big guy to protect that franchise quarterback in Jordan Love. 26, I like the edge rusher out of Penn State. This situation's perfect for Chop Robinson. He's headed to the Buccaneers. Now, Arizona, they're going to pick a defensive star. Byron Murphy, defensive tackle out of Texas. Michael, I really love this guy because yeah. he is one of the best interior pass rushers, best defensive tackle, six foot one, 310 pounds, but this dude moves like a wideout. He's very quick, a very elite first step. I like the sound of that. And I also like Tyler Guyton at 28. I know many are saying Buffalo can use another receiver, but they've already signed KJ Hamler. They've snagged Curtis Samuel. I think they're going to want to add even more depth to that old line. I'm a big old line fan. Pave the way to give uh, Josh Allen a little bit more running room. Now the Detroit Lions, I think at pick number 29, they're going with a little Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid McKinstry, that is. The Alabama quarterback, cornerback, and they're going to pair him with his former teammate, Brian Branch. Now, as we know, the Lions had to release Cam Sutton due to some investigations. Ran a 4.47 40-yard dash, and they need some help on that outside. Pick 30, Baltimore is hesitant to take receivers in the draft, and I don't think that's going to change at all. I'm going tackle again at 30. Jordan Morgan out of Arizona. How about this? I'm going to go San Francisco at 31, really? taking Jordan Morgan out of Arizona. Offensive That's guard or tackle, he has 37 games so of experience. Purdy Here's needs some protection, pass. and Morgan is just the guy to get. Pick 32, I think the Chiefs get lucky here. A receiver will fall to them. With everything that's happened with Rasheed Rice, I think Adonai Mitchell will be a solid pick. They get to retain Sky Moore as well, but a lot of unknowns still on the table there. They go with a young man out of Texas. And that'll do it for our on-the-clock draft special. But hold up, Michael. We have a local guy really? in this year's draft. That's right. Might know him by the name of Isaiah Davis. Yes. So we're going to do one more extra special pick here. Isaiah Davis, Joplin alum, South Dakota State running back. Where is he going? That's a good thing that you brought that up because I almost forgot. Round three, I think he's headed to Dallas. I like the speed, and I also like the power style of running. I think it'll work well for Jerry Jones. I'm going to go one round later. I'm going to say round four to the Dallas Cowboys, and I think he's going to go great with a star in his helmet. I cannot wait to see what he does in the NFL. Best of luck to him. Best of luck for, of course, all the local fans who are cheering him on. We'll keep an eye on all of that coming up on Thursday. And that'll do it for our... Draft special here, Chaz Wright alongside myself, Mike Limami. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You've been watching On the Clock, sponsored by Fletcher Toyota.